time it is. No. It's Tinley time. No, it's we'll... sleepy time. No, we have to go to Tinley. It's, it's the best time of year. No. We have to go. Come on. No. Come on. At least more give... sleepy. <laughs> no more sleepy. More sleepy. At least give me the car key so I can just drive there and leave you here. No, I hid them. You hid it? Yep. <sighs> Fine, I'll just I'll just walk there. I don't need to. Or the car. I'll just I'll just walk to Tinley. Man, all she had to do was wait like five minutes. Now she's hitchhiking down the road. Oh, thank you. Can you bring me to the conve Oh, it's you. Want to get in here so you don't. Where'd you get coffee? Some nice old man gave it to me. That's it's not really good. Sketch at all. Mm -hmm. Would you get in here before you catch a cold? Would I you unlock the door? Let the lock first. All right, sweet. Oh, you decided to come back for yes, me. Yes, I decided to come back for you. Aw, how nice of you. Yeah. Sweet, let's go to Tenley. Hooray. All right, we are at the Tinley Park NARBC, or North American Reptile Breeders Conference, and it is five minutes until the show opens to the public, and our meet and greet dress theme for this show is, is, wait for it, pink. Yeah. The color pink. pink. Look at my shoes. It's shoes glow. They're so <laughs> bright pink. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, some vendors that we want to meet, animals we want to see. So we have five minutes to check out the show until the meet and greet event starts. And also, last but not least, we have adoptions that are pre-adopted getting picked up here at the show. They're, it's not the backpack that's for adoption. It's the animals are all in the backpack. Yes. We have three adult ball pythons, a crested gecko, uh, a Pac-Man frog, and a bearded dragon all going to good homes today or throughout the show. So yeah, those Adoptions are all in here, ready for you their got new homes. All the adoptions in that little bag. Yeah, it's a magic backpack. They oh. all they all fit. Oh. They're all in there. Trust me. All right, I guess. <laughs> Well, I'm with Adeline, with Adeline Robinson Art, who is a fantastic artist. We've been seeing her at these shows for years, and we've never had you on the channel before, so now is the time. Um, first question, how long have you been vending these shows? Because we've seen you for a while now. Yeah, I've been, <laughs> been coming to this show for a long time, so I think the first time I came out was about 2011. Okay. So first time I ever came out was for fun. Ever since then, I've been vending them uh, with different friends and different businesses, um, but for the artwork, we've been doing it full-time for three years now. Have so you really? Three years, yeah, that we've been here with the art. Wow. <laughs> this is your full-time gig now? Yes, it is. That is yeah. fantastic. Um, what all do you have available for people? I see stickers, I see prints, yeah, I see... We, we try to have a good variety, so original art, we've got uh, fine art prints, we've got canvas prints, we've got vinyl stickers, uh, we just dropped tumblers with my artwork on them too. Oh, really? We've got coloring books, we've got uh, coffee, and I'm trying to think of anything else. I think that's it for, off the top of my head right now. What is your newest creation that you have available for sale? I'll show you guys right over here. Oh, is it I've the Viper? The Viper, yeah. So I just finished this right in time for the show. Did I was really? like, pretty worried, yeah. Um, so I spent like the last four or five days right before the show just plugging along on this guy. So it is, took a really long time. This is the original? This, this is, is the original piece, oh yeah. So it, it took four hours just to do this little section of the nose. So oh I haven't tallied it all up, but it's it's a lot of hours in there. That's insane. So. But I mean, I, all of your art, would you consider it hyper-realistic? Or what would you and that's my that's my goal. I always I, I should say it's high detail realism. Okay. Um, but yeah, hyper realism's like my goal, what I'm going for. So. I would say it is. Everything looks exactly like it does in the wild or in real life. Thank you, you are incredible. Appreciate it. I am curious. Next question. Yeah. What is this you're currently working on right. at the show? So this is going to be in the USARC auction tomorrow night. So I always like to work on a piece during the day. Um, typically I do it on Saturday, but I got a little head start since it's a little more detailed this time. Nice. Um, so I work on the piece during the day so people can pop over, take a look at it, um, check out, see the progress, and kind of get to know it. So by the time it gets in the auction, people have seen it throughout the day, and, uh, and it's done. <laughs> is it a green mamba? It is, yes. yes. This one is a western. Okay. Um, so yeah, Dendraspis viridis, and I've got a little angus to over here, so oh, I thought yeah. it would be fun to kind of have like face, you know, similar but different uh, yeah. mamba pieces. So we're going to be able to see this finished at tomorrow night's auction, and then it'll be auctioned off, Yeah, we'll have to film that too. And speaking of the auction, aren't you getting married tomorrow at the auction? We are, yeah. 
So congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can't, it's going to be so much fun tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a really good time. We, we met at Tinley, and so it's kind of fun that it's like come full circle. Uh, so I'm just excited to be able to celebrate with all my friends. It's just, it's a, such a wonderful community. I can't, you know, can't imagine not having everybody there. Because, yeah, it's such a good group of people. Yeah. So if people want to check out your artwork, where can they go? AdelineRobinsonArt.com. Um, if you type it into Instagram, Facebook, pretty much any of the social medias, uh, Adeline Robinson Art will pop up. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We'll see you again at the auction over. tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be fun. See you. It is 10 o'clock, so the meet and greet has started with yeah. our pink theme, and this was inspired by both Barbie and Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so yeah. it's a perfect combination. Are you so, gonna be okay? Like, you're not gonna be cold? I'm gonna be cold. Oh, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. But you know what? I accidentally bought the outfit not knowing it was a, a crop top, but here we are. Now I have to wear it. And the first 100 people who find us at the show, also dressed in pink, will get this limited edition hog nose in a pink pink Barbie outfit pin, and it's official, whoa, uh -oh. and it's official, you can tell, because it has the Snake Discovery logo stamped in the back. Yep. And our first friend in line is Stella over here. Thank you for following us around the show. And you're dressed in pink, this is perfect. So, do you have our channels at home? Um, yeah, we're actually breeding corn snakes for the first time this year. Oh my gosh, that's cool. so exciting, nice. Well, I wish you all the best. You get the first pin at the meet and greet event. Thanks, Stella. All right, we have our first adoption, which is going to be Pico, the bearded dragon. Come here, buddy. Did he escape? No, no, he's in here. He's oh, he in escaped here. his bin in there, though. Oh, did? Oh, yes, he did. Yeah, he was. He was just loose with all the other animals. Yeah. That's okay. Pico here has severe MBD, and he is getting adopted by a wonderful family who lives in Florida, who can give him the UVB, the natural lighting that he needs to kind of help him out. And he is going to Aurora right here. Here's Pico. Finally. You're so sweet. And you guys have a lot of experience with NBD dragons, so this is just the perfect match. I, I've got to ask though, are you going to keep his name Pico or are you going to change it? We're going to change it. Are you? Do you have it in mind already? Mm -hmm. With new names, Da Vinci. Da Vinci, uh, oh, I love it. Oh, well, Da Vinci will have a wonderful home with you. Thank you for adopting him. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, meet and greet is so much fun. There's a lot of pink clothes, including Debbie here, who not only has pink shirt on, but made her own. You made them, right? Your glasses? How did you make those? I just wrapped them in pink yarn. I love that you did two different shades of pink, too. That is awesome. So, Debbie, do you keep reptiles? Yeah. You do? What do you have? I have one Kenyan Sambo. Oh, cute! And you just recently got him, didn't you? Yeah. Nice. He's eating well for you and everything. Awesome. What do you what do you want to get next then? I like boa constrictors, but nice. I think either that or a ball python. Both would be a good option. Awesome. I love them. I love them both. Nice. Well, thank you for dressing up in pink, Debbie. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for the traditional Saturday night auction to benefit US Ark. Yeah, show is over. Show is over for day one, anyway. Yes. It's only Saturday night. We still have another day tomorrow. Yes. But the US Ark auction, basically everything that's donated, which is a ton of stuff, all the proceeds from that auction get donated to US Ark, which is an amazing organization. We say it every time. If you don't know of it yet, look it up. US Ark is a, an organization that fights for our rights to keep reptiles in captivity in the United States. Yes. So they are very essential to the reptile keeping hobby. 
everybody. So they deserve all the donations. We donated a set of Snake Discovery poker chips. I don't know how well they're gonna do, but we're gonna find out. We also donated through a fan in the Netherlands, if I remember correctly, who made a piece of art of a garter snake, hyper-realistic garter snake uh, drawing to donate to this auction. Like yes. she sent it overseas for us to donate on her behalf. I so, hear there's also supposed to be a wedding at this one. There's also a wedding. You guys met Adeline earlier, I think. Did they meet them yet? Uh, they might meet them later. Maybe you'll meet them tomorrow in the interview, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, Adeline from Adeline Robinson Art is getting married at the auction tonight too. Yeah, two awesome people. Two amazing people. Adeline and Chris are getting married at the auction. So, so there's a lot of things happening. So let's go. Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here today in the church of Ryan Potter. <laughs> <laughs> To join Adeline Paloma Yate Robinson and Christopher William Billmeyer in the blessed union of marriage. All right, by the authority invested in me by the American Marriage Ministries in the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> to combat my fear. I watched the video that she made how to make snake skin jewelry and I've actually sold enough to come here. I paid for the plane tickets and the hotels. And I want to keep doing it so I can make money um, to donate to US Art so that one day, when I'm older and finally can have a snake of my own, we'll still be able to have reptiles in captivity. So we're going to auction off some of Miss Riley's jewelry. We're just going to add $50. We're jumping by 50 I got 50 I got 100 I got 150 I got 200 250 right there. 350 I got 4 I got 500 I got 550 I need $600. I need 3200 3200 going once. 3,200 going twice. Round of applause for the Floridian Mikey B's. I'm so tired. It's day two. It is. I don't have any more energy. <laughs> It was so much fun yesterday though. We did yeah. the auction, we adopted out all the animals, so this yeah. backpack's empty now, I think. Wait, how did we fit all the animals? What else is in that backpack? I don't know, let's find out. Whoa! I didn't know the show was in there. Yeah, that was, that was really weird. How? I don't know, just don't ask questions. Let's go into the show. Okay. Jeff from JMG Reptile, who we have bought so many hog noses from in the past, and fantastic hog noses, love them. So we figured we've never had you on the channel yet. So let's do it, absolutely. Um, so I've got to ask you, why hog noses? I think it's just really explanation, just their physical appearance. They're really okay. quirky, they're cute, they're cool. Yes. Um, they're upturned to rostral scale, just their whole uh, you know, physical features. Yep. When I seen one for the first time when I was eight years old, I just fell in love, and actually from then on, that was always my favorite snake species. Really? Okay, yeah. very similar reasons why they're my favorite species okay. too. Yeah. There's so many unique adaptations from the nose to playing dead, everything. When you, um, well obviously when you seen a hog nose snake, that wasn't the first snake you ever seen. So that's why I came across, I really love snakes, but when I came across a hog, Nose, it was just so unique and surprising to me. I was like, whoa, what the heck is that? You're just drawn right to it. Yeah, it's really it. drawn yeah. to it. And you breed so many different morphs here. What's your favorite morph that you produce of hog noses? Um, one of my favorite morphs, that's our, probably Super Arctic Sunburst, because um, they can have a pretty big uh, variety of a color gradient. Some of my best looking ones are like really, really pink, and it's just really stunning to see a really cute, cool looking hog nose snake with their upturned nose and just uh, overall just bright pink appearance on that animal. That's a great combination. I don't know if I've ever seen a super 
super arctic sunburst before. I'm now I'm gonna have to Google it. Or right. look, look for one of yours on the table or something. I got a picture of one. Oh, perfect, you. okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so one more question for you. For anybody who's watching who has a picky hognose snake that doesn't want to eat, because we encounter that with people who bought from us who have hognoses all the time, what's your tip for them to get the picky hognose snake to eat? Well, one of the ones I really like to go to is I make sure they haven't drank in like a couple days so they're a little thirsty. I take a pinky and frozen thawed one in this case. I tear the face, I dip it in water, and I hold it right up to their mouth and I try to stealthily approach them. And what that does is when we put that moist pinky right up to their mouth, they start to drink from it. And as they're drinking it, those, uh, you know, all that scent and taste is going to resonate with their olfactory. Right, right. And they're going to sense, hey, this is food. And a lot of times, too, when they're drinking from it, they're stopped and focused on the pinky. And okay. then as they're focused on they're drinking it, they taste it, and they're like, boom, and they grab it. And then you can use that technique with um, scenting, too. So you could do tuna juice, you could do frog, and then you can yeah. mix that and make it, like, uh, you know, just soupy and dip that in there, and they get the hog nose to try to taste it. And so there's a variety of things you can do with that technique, and it works on a lot of hog nose. That's a great idea. All right, well, there you go, guys. If you need a new tip, I actually hadn't heard that one before. Oh, so, great, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Now I have another one to recommend to others. Good, good. So if people are interested in learning more about your hog noses, where can they go? Um, I just started a YouTube, but it's I haven't put up too many videos yet. Okay. And so you can find it under JMG Reptile, and it looks like this logo back here. Okay. Um, and then I also, um, I'm very, very active on Instagram. Instagram, that's your main platform the, right yeah, now? I'm, yeah, that's one of my main Instagram, JMG Reptiles, and again, you'll see this uh, logo uh, right. for my Instagram and for my avatar and I actually I have some cool pinned videos on how to remove a hog nose if they mistake you for food because that's an important oh. one because most yes, people yeah a lot of people are worried about the envenomation of a hog nose yeah. but if you remove them quickly you don't have to worry about it because there's no chance for them to even envenomate you so you don't even have to worry if they are going to pose any possible risk to you swelling up or anything yeah. like that so I have pinned videos like that and I kind of have a pinned video of the one we just uh, talked about with the, yeah. getting the hog nose to drink from the pinky and eat. So you have a very educational Instagram what would you say? A little bit. Then I have memes and all kinds of other crazy Oh, and stuff. then all the memes. Yeah, hog nose snakes, memes, and education. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you, Jeff, for your time. Yeah, thank you for talking. I might have to go shop for some of your hog noses now. Sounds good. All right, it's the last couple hours of the show. We've met some amazing breeders here, seen some incredible animals. Now Ed and I have to do the mad dash to buy everything we need for our store, including animals and products. So we're gonna see if we can check mark all the boxes on our list. Ed is not with me, so I have no one to say no. I just found a blackhead python. It's a male. I bought it. Ed doesn't know this yet. Oh, we have a pair of black-headed pythons now. You know how we've been looking for a male black-headed python? Yeah. I bought one. Did you? Yes. How Come. much did you spend on it? Don't, you don't need to know. <laughs> it's over here. All right. It's through the Zoom Ed booth over at our good friend Scott with Scott's Great Snakes. Aww. There he is. We have him. He's ours. Aww. But we do have to pay for him, so I need money okay. from you. All right. You have all the monies. <laughs> You know I almost every day in the cooler months wear my uh, hoodie here and recently we launched it online you can buy them now at snakediscoverystore.com and both Rain and Bella have the hoodies so we all match here okay I've got to ask Rain what's your favorite kind of reptile uh, Rex oh alligators good choice okay Bella what's your favorite kind of reptile uh, yeah you guys will see I like Allie and my favorite animal in general is just a green anaconda green anaconda oh my gosh that is awesome you'll have to be tiny hours one day nice Oh my gosh, we just found the biggest hognose snake I have ever seen in my entire life. This is a tank of a hognose over at Chris Hernan Reptiles' booth. This is... Those guys right there. This is insane. Like, how is this a hognose? She's like Madagascar giant size just about. <laughs> She's huge. All right. 
Bridge okay. show's over. Oh, another another, another Tinley. Another Tinley in the books. Yes, we got, I think, everything we needed though, including some coffee at the very end from Cold Blooded Caffeine Co. Love their coffee. I love it, but the Snake Discovery branded one was out of stock. It was That's sold right. out. Yes, it was. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> so we got the generic from them, but still got some. Um, got, got animals. Got a bunch of animals. I think we're good. All right. Let's head back to the hotel. Whoa! Whole thing was in the backpack the entire time. Yep. That, that was... backpack's pretty impressive. Yeah, it holds a lot of stuff. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but the entire Tinley show was in here. And this was given to us by a fan. Yeah. I bet they didn't even know that it had those magical properties. But now we're back here at the hotel after the Tinley show, which was an amazing time. We are exhausted, but in a good way. We're tired in a good way. First and foremost, our donations to the auction for the for US Ark made between our poker set chip and Gemma's artwork that she sent from overseas over in the UK. Between the two of them, we've made over $750 to be donated to US Arc. So yep. thank you so much, Gemma. Guys, you should definitely check out her work at the Little Old Sketch. Uh, that was very nice of her to donate her piece to the US Arc auction. Also, we had so much fun meeting everybody at the show and doing a meet and greet. Thank you to everyone who dressed in pink as well. It was a lot of fun seeing so much pink throughout the hall. And we just wanted to meet you and say hi and yeah. hand out pins. You didn't have to give us anything. You don't <laughs> have to do this, guys. You are way too nice. Way too nice. I mean, there's chocolate, there's donuts, which are delicious. We already finished. New York donuts. Yeah, one of the, there's two packages of Did these. Did you ever see what was in this? No, I have Somebody to Somebody just this. dropped that off. Yeah. The, they didn't uh, say hi. They, they just dropped it off and left? Yeah. Yeah, I figured we'd open it on camera because no, I have not opened it or seen this yet. No, off. This is from Sam. Okay, so Sam sent us this box. A cute letter. Oh my oh, gosh! Cool. Whoa, a cross stitch snake. Look at that. Wow, that's really well done too. Look at how tight the stitching is. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Sam, for this. This is awesome. I'm glad we waited to open it on camera. I'm gonna have to find a good spot for that in the office. Also, I didn't even see this get dropped off, but there's oh, a new. Yeah book series? They said that's one of their favorite book series that nobody really talks about as far as right. dragons go. The Enchanted Forest Chronicles. All yep. right. And well, then they also gave you this one and they said that one's a little less kid friendly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I will read that one as well. A fan also gave us huge copper coins for water bowls, like much bigger than pennies. So we can use those for our big water bowls. There's tons of chocolate. There's Pokemon cards. There's stickers. These little I isopods from Hellfire Exotics, which are super cute and have little legs. Yep. Uh, we've got coffee, like artwork. I can't believe how nice you guys are. There's a homemade shirt for Hogamon. 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 I love it. There's, a, I think, a hint that Ed and I need to eat more healthy, so yeah. someone gave us apples. <laughs> so we will eat the apples for breakfast because we have not been eating healthy this entire trip. But yeah, you guys are way too nice. Don't yeah. you don't have to give us stuff. We love we love There's it. The, the tumbler from Adeline. Yes, yeah, from Adeline. We got Adeline. A, one of her new tumblers that is just wrapped in all sorts of her amazing designs. The the newlyweds, Adeline yep. and Chris. Congratulations! That was so much fun watching. Yeah, it was like being a part of the wedding at the auction. Now we have seen a proposal and a wedding. Oh gosh, I was just about to say, all that there has to be is like... A divorce? A divorce, yeah, <laughs> and then it's the whole thing. But uh, let's hope that never happens. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We'll keep happen. it positive. Yep. Uh, so now, the things that we bought, we got a little tarantula crazy. Yeah. We have three of these bags full of tarantulas. We've got uh, purple pink toes, we have uh, Brazilian blacks, there's purple jewels, Brazilian jewels. Brazilian there's some jewels, yep. bird eaters, there's yep. OBTs, GBBs. Now we got that bag. Oh my gosh. That bag. Yeah. And that bag. Well, all for, for for the store. For the store. This Just, is all stuff for the store. Yes. We also got some ball pythons for the store because yep. we needed some of those. Not a spider, it's a pinstripe. We got one cute little blood python for yep. our store. Super cute. We got a couple of albino Nelson's milk snakes for the store. Yep. And a lot of frogs. Tons of frogs. Yeah. We got tons and tons of frogs. We have Mexican black king snakes for the store. And I think that's everything that we bought for resale purposes. I think so. All the stuff, now all the stuff that we got for ourselves. Yes, he's gonna bite me. I know it. Yeah. Oh, he did it! He's already bit me like four times. Yeah. Oh, he's in blue. He can't even see me. Aww. We were given by our fan Grant, who couldn't keep him anymore, a yellow anaconda. He's so cute. Nope. Yeah, what? he wants to bite you. <laughs> He's kind of sassy. He's gonna need some work. Don't yeah. do it. Ow! 
Stop it. Yeah. No, don't do that. Don't be rude. There's I'm... his typical personality. Yep, so we now have a very cantankerous yellow anaconda. Yeah. So you might see a video about yellows and greens, since we also have tiny, our green anaconda. Go back in the bag. Yeah, so they don't get bit more. Yeah, more, exactly. That's your finger. Bleeding? <laughs> it's fine. I always end up getting bit by the new animals. Like yeah. it was that sable hog last time. I mean, I got bit by him too. A so. bunch. Yeah. Check this out. We actually went and bought our very first, actually no, your first snake was a ball python. Yeah, my first was a ball python. Okay, but then we, this is our first ever. This is our first breeding pair. Yep, we bought a pair of ball pythons yep. because we enjoyed the clutch that we produced this year so much that we wouldn't mind having another pair of actual good quality balls yep. to breed very fancy babies. So this is an albino pied and this one is a toffee. Or yep. is it a toffino? No, that's a toffee. This is, yep, toffee het pied. We got these from Royal Constrictor Designs. It was Garrick's birthday, so we had to buy them from him. Yeah. So that worked out really well. Now we have a pair of ball pythons for yep. more ball python clutches in the future. Exactly. We're not gonna go crazy with no. them, guys. I still prefer colubrids, but I don't mind. To break everything, you break it up every yeah, once in a while. Yeah, do something new. Yeah. All right, since you guys saw me buying this one, figured we'll do him next. A male black-headed python uh -huh. produced by Scott's Great Snakes. And we've bought snakes from him in the past. We've never bought a blackhead from him, but we've been looking for a male blackhead for a while since we have Inky, our female in the zoo. She's ready to go, plenty big enough. So we figured it was time to get a male. Yep. So here we go. We now have a male black-headed python. Okay, next is something pretty cool. This was given to us by Hadley through Garrett with Reach Out Reptiles. These are hissing cockroaches. They might look like normal hissing cockroaches, but they are from the Carnegie Science Center in Pennsylvania, which means these are descendants of roaches that went into space. Yeah, they went up in space. Not these ones, but their grandparents did or yeah. something like that. So these are descendants of those. These are space roaches, guys. Yeah. So I think we're going to replace the roaches in our invert cave with these and Giant try to... Giant space roaches. Yeah, so cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what going into space does to them, but uh, they... Oh, they hissed. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they're going to go... Oh, you are really... Oh, that one's a little mad. Yeah, you've got a tood. Oh, <laughs> right. like a wind-up toy. <laughs> yeah, he does sound like that. <laughs> all right, well, they are going to live in our zoo, so now when you see the hissing cockroaches at Snake Discovery, they're space roaches. Yep. All right, next we got, since we recently were surrendered a male shield-tailed agama into Adoption Island, which we decided to keep and actually put in our zoo, we bought a female for him. Yeah, she's a little cutie. She is so cute and tiny. Look at her. Look at her cute little butt. It's covered in pokies. Such yeah. a weird species. It's like, what in the world are you doing to me, guys? They have like a Muramastic's head and body, but that tail is just... I like that fan butt. Yeah, it's just out of this world. So this is a nice new bizarre species for our zoo patrons to learn about since they'll be on display now. Yeah. We have two more animals. And uh, of course, I couldn't leave the show without getting a hog nose. Yeah. This one we actually prearranged from the New York show. We bought her there and the breeder, who is Blacksmith Reptiles, offered to bring her to the Tinley show for us. So we made sure we had all the proper paperwork since it was in Illinois. Uh, but yeah, we picked her up. Everything worked out great. And now we get to bring her home. Yeah. So she's technically a New York show purchase, but I guess a Tinley pickup still. Yeah. So now we have a new bloodline of lavender hognose. She's just a regular lavender? Just regular lavender. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, no, she's possibly het albino. Oh. So that'd be pretty... Well, she's... Okay. She's red line lavender. 66% uh, het albino. So she could potentially make corals. I'm not going to bank on it. I'm just going to like be pleasantly surprised if she happens to be het albino. Yeah. But she's just a nice lavender. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Ed got something he's pretty excited about. I did. We, uh, she's made a mess of her bin. She, of course, has made a big mess. We now have a sixth Lichianus gecko. And, oh, man, you are smelly and jumpy. This is going to be fun. <laughs> this is not just any uh, Lichianus. This is a Grand Terre, which means we can pair her with his first Lichianus. Our Grand Terre. Our Grand Terre. Yeah, Larry, who we've had for years, and he's been wanting a lady friend for a long time. We finally found a good pair for yep. him. And she came from Living Wild LLC. Great vendor, great breeder. And, yeah, they were awesome to talk to, and they helped us find the perfect pairing for yeah. Larry so that next year when she She's big enough, we can maybe make some Grand Terre Lichianus yeah. babies. Yeah, it was it was an awesome show. There was so much going on, a lot of emotions at the auction, and just a lot going on throughout the entire 
weekend. So thank you everybody who said hi to us and everybody who dressed in pink. Thank you to, I mean, everyone involved with all these animals that we now get to add to our zoo yep. or add all to these, our store. All these animals. Yeah, it was nice catching up with some great breeders who we've talked to in the past and featured on the channel and meeting some new friends along the way. So thank you everybody. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support as always. And we'll see you next time. You have to make us wonderful babies. We need a name for her. We do need a name for her. And the blackhead python. Ooh, so help us name them. Yeah, so her boyfriend Ooh. is Larry, so we need something that plays out of that. And, and the blackhead's female, the girlfriend is Inky. So yeah. we need a good name for her now Could boyfriend. Clyde. Clyde? Oh! Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, never mind. His All name right. is Clyde. His name is Clyde. Okay. But so we need, we need something for, her. for girl Larry's girlfriend.